Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we celebrate Badger great Frank Kaminsky. On the north end of the court, we are pleased to be joined by his father, Frank, his mother, Mary, sisters, Kaylee and Hannah, and grandmother, Mary Lou. Also on the court are many of Frank's former teammates and coaches. Thank you all for being here. And now, please join us as we welcome one of the greatest student athletes to ever wear a Badger uniform, number 44, Frank Kaminsky. your attention to the video board for a special presentation. Frank has made the biggest impact of any Badger to ever come through the program. Yeah, I saw him come in as an 18-year-old senior in high school uh, and saw him grow into the best player in the country. So you look at how he evolved as a player, how he developed, I think that's he can be the poster child in terms of somebody that came in here with very few accolades but committed himself to developing and making that commitment to really wanting to be great. You know, he's probably as complete a player as I've ever been around. But how he developed and how he made himself into the player he was, I think is the, probably the most remarkable part of that story. My favorite part about Frank is, is just his exuberant personality. I look back to when he first came in as a freshman, and he's still that same kid. He's just got an energy around him that is, it's, it's attractive to be around. He was obviously an amazing player on the court, but off the court, he made us better with his personality, with his character, with his jokes, um, and that kind of sprinkled through our whole program and made us what we were. He wanted to do everything he could possibly do with his teammates. And I think that really, for all the, the hype he got, for all the spotlight he got, he he really wanted to make it more about the team and he understood and appreciated how important his teammates were to him and how important they were to his success. Frank drives on Dawson, right of the lane, goes to the paint, slam, dunk, and one! His senior year, just his confidence level and the mantra that he played with when he stepped on the court, he just knew he was the best player out there. He knew he was going to make his teammates better. And I think everyone kind of felt that. And it's, that's something you can't teach. He lifts the whole team up. And I think that's why they reached the levels that they did, because it started with, you know, their best player. Um, but he made everyone better, which is why he was so great. He wanted to be great. He didn't want to just be another player and be good. Uh, and I think he's kind of set the table that uh, this is what the levels should be here. Uh, not only from a team standpoint, but also an individual. But if you can strive to be great, uh, it can happen. Ladies and gentlemen, Director of Athletics, Barry Alvarez. Thank you. Frank, we're all proud of all of your accomplishments. You and your teammates over there gave us a lot of thrills. <laughs> to show our appreciation, we will raise your jersey, number 44, to the Raptors. We're, we're, it will permanently stay. Congratulations, Frank.
Oh, man. I don't even know how to do these speech things. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm going to try to get through this. Um, you know, when I came to this... <laughs> hey, shut up up there. You know, when I came to the school, I used to always tell myself, do something you can be proud of. Just work, and at the end of the day, do something you can be proud of. And I'm, I'm proud to be standing here tonight being able to tell you all how much I accomplish, but not only me. You know, when I see that banner go up there, I don't think of myself. I think all my teammates who have been so supportive. <laughs> These guys, they've become like family to me. I mean, you can just see it. I mean, except Josh, but um, <laughs> they, they, without them, you know, I don't know if I would have been the player that I was at this school and been the player that I could be here. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I also, I think of the coaching staff who took in a kid, very immature, gave him an opportunity, although he might have not have deserved it early on. And they turned me into a man. They turned me into the person that I am today. Everything that I am or that I will be started at this school. So I have to say thank you for the coaches for giving me that opportunity. I have to say thank you to my friends that were up there that have been screaming. <laughs> they, they are the l biggest lovable idiots that you could possibly ever have around you. Those guys have been there from day one when I was a 6'2", squeaky voice freshman who, if a girl would have saw me, would have ran in the other direction. <laughs> They've been there through, through all of it, and I have to say thank you to them. <laughs> and most importantly, I have to say thank you to my family. You know, my mom, my dad, my sisters, and my grandma but not only just them, the rest of my family, too. They've been there through the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. They never told me what I should do, let me follow my dreams and let me be my own person. They, they let me be the goofball idiot. They never told me what to do. They always told me, be who you are and be confident in that. And for that, I have to say thank you. And last but not least, I have to say thank you to all of you in here, all the fans across Wisconsin. You guys are the best. You guys are the best fans in the country without question, constantly supporting me even after I've left this, sco left this school. The support you showed while we were here during our runs, during the teams we have, and ever since I left has been amazing. So. My name and my number might go up there tonight, but there's a story behind it, and there's so many people behind it that I have to say thank you to. So I'd like you all to give one last big round of applause for all these people that I've mentioned and for all of you for yourselves, because without all of you, I wouldn't be standing here tonight. Thank you. On Wisconsin.